Hey guys, Chris is going on here. Welcome back to another awesome YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing some forestry stuff. But our first tree that I'm going to be showing y'all is this one. And I'm going to go ahead and give y'all about like two or three seconds to take y'all's guess on what y'all think this is. This tree is the Southern Magnolia. And the main way you can kind of tell this is based on the leaves. They just kind of have a certain look to them. And it is a slick bark, as you can clearly see, it's not all crackly and it doesn't have any kind of like designs in the bark, it's just kind of smooth. The next tree I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all is gonna be the tallow tree. And this is a tree that's actually everywhere in Louisiana. Um, you can find this pretty much anywhere you go. All right guys, this is the third tree I'm gonna be showing y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a few seconds to try to guess what y'all think this is. But the way you can tell that this is a sweet gum is by looking at the leaves. As you guys can clearly see, there is a perfect star-shaped leaf. All right, guys, this is the next tree that we're going to be looking at. And you should probably already know what this one looks like because you've probably seen this one around a lot. But this is a live oak. This is the arborvitae that I planted in a few videos ago. This right here is an arborvitae. And it's very, very weirdly spelled. And you can clearly see that it is not doing well at all. This tree right here is a crepe myrtle. It's just kind of an extra tree that I put in this video because you don't really need to know what this is. It's as we can clearly tell from the bark and the way that the leaves look, this is a pine tree. And you can see that it's just a bunch of little pine needles hanging off of the branches. But the only way we can really tell what kind of pine tree this is is by picking up some of these pine needles down here. So if we choose a few pine needles like this, we can kind of cipher through them. So most of the pine needles that we've seen in this stack so far all have three needles. This is probably a loblolly. All right, guys, this tree is really popular in Louisiana. It is the bald cypress. You can clearly tell from the light green fringe, and that's what we call the little leaves. We call them fringe. And you can also tell just by the way it looks. I mean, it's, it's got to be either an eastern red cedar or a bald cypress based on the way the tree looks. All right, guys, we're back with another pretty easy tree, I would say, in my opinion. It is a cow oak, and you can just kind of tell like the edges of the leaf. It looks kind of like a staircase, like an upside down staircase, but uh, it's gonna have leaves that look like this. You can't really tell it right here because of the vines, but it's gonna have the same kind of bark as a pecan tree. It's, it's gonna have that kind of like white crackly bark. This tree right here is known as the ash tree or the green ash, and you can tell based by its basket weave bark. It's commonly mistaken with the hickory, but you can easily tell by the ash having much smaller leaves. Next, we have the American sycamore. You can tell by its brown peeling bark that reveals a white underwood. It has a very distinguishable leaf, and although it has the word sick in its name, and it looks as if it's sick, the tree is perfectly healthy. This tree is obviously a live oak just based on the leaves and then the corkiness of the bark. The one thing you'll also notice about live oaks is that they will start to branch off in all kinds of different directions. I think this is like what most of the older ones do. But you'll see that they're starting to branch off like crazy in all the different directions and stuff. And I think this is like one of the most magical looking trees. I think it's really cool looking just how it does that. All right, guys, right here we can see the leaf of an American elm because it has a pregnant side. And what I mean by that is that this side right here is bigger than this side. A winged elm is going to look just like that, but it's not going to have a pregnant side. And it can also have a lot of cork on the bark. It's going to have a lot of stuff coming off of the limbs. All right, guys, right here we have a huge sweet gum. And the way that you can tell that this is a sweet gum is just by looking at the leaves again, because once again, they have perfect star shaped leaves. So this should be one of the easiest trees you'll probably ever come across in the forestry game. All right, guys, we are standing under another ash tree. And the way that we know that this is an ash tree is because of the pattern that we have on the leaves. We can see that they are right across from each other on each side of the stem, then with one poking out on the end. All right, guys, this tree right here looks pitiful. It is like really dead looking, but as we can clearly see from this leaf right here, it is a red mulberry. Um, not only is it super big, but it also has this little thing on the end that kind of comes out a little bit. All right guys, this tree right here, I'm gonna go ahead and call a southern red. This leaf right here demonstrates it pretty good because it's got three little things sticking out. As you can see, it's clearly trying to be three separate parts on the leaf. 